Okay, so there's quite a few um, <laughs> there's quite a few questions I need to answer. So I'm gonna do the one by one in the order I feel is best makes the most sense. So one of the questions or the concerns people have is about the the video I made about things that we are not to do in the bedroom even if we are married. Now people get married because for a lot of different reasons. One of which is for their salvation's sake. Like the Bible talks about, it's better to be married than to burn. Okay, so that means the, the thinking is to be free in the bedroom with your, your partner, your spouse, um, to explore their bodies, to be intimate with them. But I did mention in that video I talked about that is there's certain things that we do, that we do with our part with the person that we consider our partner, that we've been encouraged to do that are not of our Heavenly Father. These tricks, these soleil tricks that people do are not of our Heavenly Father, okay? So... There is a holiness to even the bedroom, okay? Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexual immorality and adulteress. Hebrews 13, 4. To the husband, is the description, I'm going to see if I can find it and put it in this uh, in the description. It talks about the, the man enjoying the... the, the uh, the breasts of this, his wife and like the, there's a lot of sex, sensuality in some of the scriptures that describes the relationship a man and a woman can have in, in the confines of a marriage which is beautiful but like I said the tricks and the things that people have learned to do through um, inappropriate uh, media resources is not of our Heavenly Father is definitely of the enemy it was idea the idea is to to pervert the marriage marriage bed and to or, or marriage and to open up a gateway to for perversion um, even in the confines of a marriage which is concerning because our Heavenly Father is the, the marriage is the first union that our Heavenly Father put together be as a loving hind and pleasant role let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished always with her love Hebrews 5 19 nevertheless to avoid fornication let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. 1 Corinthians 7, 2. Okay, so why um, did I say that we are to consider not going to bed without clothes on? Just two reasons. One, when we are in bed, that might be the time the rapture happens, when we're, in, we're sleeping. The Bible clearly says that. Now, if that happens... Do you, I want to ask you a question and you get to pray about this. Do you really believe you'll be raptured up without your clothes on? Okay. Two, we are guide, guarded and protected by angels. I remember the first prayer, what pray, one of the first prayers I learned um, in school was one to protect me as I sleep. Now, that means we have guardian angels. We have at least one. A, a Bible often talks about a legion. We have a few angels for various purposes, protection, provision, guidance, all that kind of thing. Um, so if that's the case, um, we have to consider Genesis when the angels, there's a, a third of the angels was cast down to the earth out of heaven and saw the women on the earth as being fair, beautiful, and fell with them and procreated with them, creating the Nephilim. This is also in the book of Enoch that was removed from the Bible. If you are more spiritually aware, you can, can, you can, you can recall this. But the point is, there's enough in Genesis to let you know that the angels very much see us and see the beauty in the women and that we need to consider this, okay? Pray about it. Pray about it. Now it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were beautiful. And they took wives for themselves of all whom they chose. Genesis 6 verse 2. Have. This is scripture and led by the Holy Spirit to share. All right. So I'm hope this is helpful. Remember to seek this, seek this, our Heavenly Father in prayer related to this. And I wish I could tell you that this is not what it is, but it is. Okay. All right. Remember, I love you. You are made marvelously. Until next time, be blessed. And remember, our Heavenly Father loves you so much more than I could ever. All right.